<coughs> Hello, guy. How's, how's General Isopa? How do you end today? Hey, I will be. He only. <coughs> today, I will be. He. He moving my latest shipment of isopods into their new enclosure. Or here. Fe this was featured in a previous video. Oh, before, oh, just after I added these orange peels. T today, I will be moving in some Dalmatian isopods. <clears throat> uh, sh shout out to Aquarium Expod. That's for inspiring me to keep isopods. He's a great, he's a great guy. I hey, go check out now his YouTube channel, which... It's it's a it's a great YouTube channel, trust me. Now before I get started, let's show you a little bit and about what's in here. This is actually a mixture of some old old plant part. Or it's basically some this used to be a plant, but now I'm just using it and, and the material well, from several other plant pot that's for this enclosure. <clears throat> and next up are the isopods. I believe there's 10 of them in here. I'll be opening this in a second no hold on a moment I will be I will be right back sorry just had to open the container. Well, let's see how we're. Well, let's see how we're doing. All right, so far so good. The isopods look healthy, which I'm really grateful for. Just give me a moment to open this up. Whoa, fast, fast little, these, th these things are fast little buggers. The Dalmatian isopod, that's definitely one of the cooler isopods out there. Sorry, you got, got a little, sorry, this one, this one right here is apparently a Lightning McQueen wannabe. <laughs> anyway, I will be gently re- me homing these again. Eyes, eyes right now. Generally, what you what you do is to basically leave me put the substrate in. If the ice spots come with substrate in, into the enclosure, in case there are any tiny little babies, these are. Basically, baby isopods. <clears throat> All right, let's start. All right, let's let's do this. All right, I'm gonna uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I bet, and uh, I have to go. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Goodbye.